Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to take you on a trip with me to Hobby Lobby. I found so many cute things there for the upcoming fall season. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys some of my favorite finds and favorite home decor there. I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobbies are the same across all stores. So if you see anything you like here, you can probably run down to your local Hobby Lobby and find it there as well. And if you guys have not found me on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie at Wire, where I share a lot of home behind the scenes and fun stuff there too. So a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be sharing is from a lot of their fall section. And then I will share a couple more of the home decor stuff, but first I wanna focus a little bit on these kind of fallish type aisles. These are right in the beginning of the store and I found these really cute salt and pepper mills or salt and pepper grinders. They were marked at $29.99 but all of their fall stuff is 40% off so you have to keep that in mind when checking prices. This really cute riser was only $4.99 with 40% off is a really great deal. These are really cute for um, right by your sink or in the bathroom, little risers for soap and those types of things. It's really cute. These little measuring spoons are the cutest thing. They come with, I think, four for $9.99 and then they were 40% off. So probably somewhere around $6 for that little wooden set. I thought those were so cute. This little breadboard or cutting board is really cute as well. I think it's acacia and it was $29.99, also 40% off, and I just love this shape. They have a lot of utensils here all the time, and I like these for more of like a modern look. They're not wood, they're kind of like a silicone style, but still really cute. If you are going to be doing any entertaining for the fall season, they have a lot of really cute napkins and a lot of wood items like charcuterie boards. These ones have really cute little feet on them, so they rise up a little bit. These are so cute for fruit too, or meat and cheese. Those types of things are really fun. This little tray is a really good find, a little bit more of a modern industrial with that cute black metal for $39.99 and then 40% off. These wooden spoons are so adorable. I love these wood tones and the shape of them is just really fun. I believe they're called spurtles and they're made from acacia wood, very pretty. Here are some more napkins. These are really cute for dinners or even displaying things. I like to just put these on my trays, especially if they're seasonal, it just adds a little bit of something extra. This platter caught my eye. It's really large, so it's really good size. And that little border, it's almost like a wheat or something. I thought it was so pretty for like a turkey or something like that. I have to say this whole Robert Stanley collection, everything that I really liked was from that line. And I don't know if it's something new or how long they have had it there. Maybe I just don't pay enough attention, but almost everything that they had was just adorable. It's a really great collection at Hobby Lobby. These were really cute little name tags or like for name cards, I believe, for Thanksgiving. We usually don't get that crazy at Thanksgiving, but it is a really nice touch. Also more cute measuring cups. These little copper ones are so adorable. I think these are a really great price for $9.99, 40% off, making them probably about $6. If you want to spruce up some of your kitchen items, that is a great find. These little candlesticks or candle holders are really cute. And don't forget, you can always paint them if you don't like the color. They also had these little leather pumpkins for, I guess like maybe filler or like bowl type thing, but those were really cute as well. These little thankful baskets, I liked that little leather touch. And then they always have a ton of wooden beads and the little tassels at Hobby Lobby as well. You kind of have to dig around. Those go really fast there. I always like to look at their little kind of painting and craft section. My boys love that type of stuff. It's good for like a little Thanksgiving break or holiday break, little crafts and things like that that they can do 
at home. Definitely no shortage on pumpkins at Hobby Lobby. They have a ton of them there. And these little kind of wicker or woven ones are really fun. These are also a really great option if you don't like buying real pumpkins. These are pretty close. They're a good faux for sure. These little textured ones are always really fun for inside, by a fireplace, or on a mantle. And then these actually reminded me a lot of the ones they have at Pottery Barn. Definitely a lot cheaper. They have some very similar to this at Target, but a little bit different color. And then these are a really great fall item, but also can go into winter as well. So this aisle is really bright, but I always tend to gravitate more towards more natural and neutral type things. This little faux wheat, um, there wasn't really a ton of them there, but would look really cute on a DIY wreath. I loved those. I was also noticing a lot of these kind of like purpley and blue colors with a lot of the neutral or natural colors, which I think it's really pretty. If you are somebody who likes color, that is a really pretty way I feel to do fall. I love those colors. They're very um, out of the ordinary. They also have a lot of really great dough bowls. If you are on the hunt for those, those are really fun for moss and decorative type items for tables also really great deals. This was by far my fave, yep, that fell down. <laughs> this was my favorite um, little cutting board or display board. It was so big. So it says 70, but it was 40% off. So I thought that was a really great find. This pumpkin was really fun. It had a lot of little different textures, the braiding, and kind of that corn husk type material. Really fun with a little bit of color in there. $30, 40% off. Um, yeah, cute for a little decor. Another section I always stop at is like the baskets and bins. They don't change them up too much at Hobby Lobby, but every now and then there are new things here and there, so I always like to check them out, but they do have a lot of really fun baskets. I'm kind of looking for one for like logs and things by the fireplace, but I'm not 100% certain what I want there yet, so I just like to keep my options open. I also like to stop in the kind of candle section and there's always like little decor accents and things hiding in there as well. This is a little riser. I suppose you could use it for a candle, but you could also use it by a sink or something like that for soaps and candles, those types of things. This is another really cute little riser. They have this one in the candle section as well really pretty black, but you could also paint these if you don't like the color, so don't forget that. They have a lot of little florals, picks, and those types of things. These are cute for wreaths and decor type items, also 40% off. I'm telling you guys, there are some really great deals here. These are kind of a faux leather charger if you're into entertaining. These are super cute. This tablecloth in this linen type material with the pretty ruffles on the bottom. It's a nice little touch for like Thanksgiving or dinner of some sort. Loved this little display for toppings and fun things like that. And then I shared this on my Instagram story, this little acacia cutting board. A lot of times I will do like meat and cheese and fun things like that for the kids and I, if we watch movies, had to pick that one up. 
So this is right in the center of the store. I believe these are 40% off as well. I think they call this the Blackbeard Wheat and it is really neat because it has the little black tips. These are my favorite type of wheat to decorate with. These say Christmas floral. These are gorgeous, really great way to bring in some color in fall decor. And then this is actually in the dried florals aisle. This wheat is so pretty. I feel like it's a very clean wheat. It's not real kind of grassy. This is a little bit more of a modern style wheat, if that makes sense. But be sure to check your florals. They do go on 40% off for dried florals every other week. See, this one's a little bit more kind of wispy, a little bit more natural, where the other one was a little bit more modern, I feel like, but still both very cute. This is a really great pack if you have trouble kind of putting things together. This comes with three different types in one. One's like more of a filler and then you have your height and then you have a little accent down there. Very pretty colors. I love this kind of brown and purple, really cute. They had these kind of burnt orange, almost velvety uh, pillows, also very different. You don't see those. Um, very often and then really cute lantern for porch styling which I hope to have soon coming for you guys so hang in there and they had these little amber bottles I love these for like a stack of books or a really cute shelf if you have open shelving in your kitchen these are so gorgeous and a great way to bring in a little bit of color and a little bit of that fall more wood beads. I loved this kind of really rich brown color as opposed to the lighter woods. I like seeing a little bit more of these darker tones. And then more of these amber style fluted vases. I loved these. They have a larger one and then the smaller ones as well. And they also have the same style in a little lamp. And this is one of those little lamps that I was telling you guys about a few videos ago, a lot of people are putting these in their kitchens. Yep, I just can't <laughs> get it together. Um, but yeah, these were really cute for just little accents and fun things around the house. Another section I always stop at is the mirrors and wall type decor. This really pretty arch style mirror was $64.99. And I do believe these will go on sale um, I'm not exactly sure when, if they jump week to week, but definitely keep an eye on those. This is the one I have very similar to the one in my living room. Um, this one's 129 and it does go on sale. So keep an eye on that. That one is about 32 inch round, I believe. This is on one of those end cap type things right in the front and slash center of the store. Um, this one is $24.99 for this little lidded canister. It's kind of in that stoneware or that glazed look. Really cute. This one is $19.99. We're seeing this style a lot right now. It's very cute. So a few of the things that I picked up for my home were the wooden measuring spoons. I could not pass these up. These are the most adorable little things. And for about $6, I had to scoop them up. I thought these were so cute. I also had to pick up the acacia wood little cutting board. I love how I styled this right in my kitchen and it was a really good price. So I definitely had to scoop it up. It's functional and pretty in the kitchen as well. I also picked up the wooden spurtles. I love these, they are so cute. They look really cute with all of the wooden utensils. They're actually for more of like stews and those types of fun winter meals, but I just love the way they look. <laughs> so I had to get them. I have more fall content coming for you guys, so definitely stay tuned. Make sure that you are subscribed, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.